cap and trade deal is being touted as a landmark commitment, right? But it's not brand new. It's a build up basically from last time Obama was in China. They already agreed on something. So what's being built on top of that deal, and what's the significance of the added on uh, principles? Um, you know, if you look at the joint statement. Uh, uh, you know, last year between uh, President Obama and President Xi Jinping, uh, the statements is just to consider, you know, has had about uh, 1,800 words. Mm. But if you look at the uh, announcement on the climate change, they should just conclude just a. Uh, uh, so last a few time it was just ago. a handshake. Okay, we're going to do this now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a very plan. basic. And it's it's not really basic. It's mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the main principles. It's the framework of the visions uh, of the uh, basic uh, points of uh, of. Uh, uh, of the things that you know the both countries are trying to achieve, mm -hmm. but if you look at the uh, uh, the announcement uh, uh, concluded uh, just a, uh, a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. uh, it has a lot of details and uh, it has a vision, a shared vision for what is going to be achieved in mm -hmm. the uh, Paris uh, summit, mm -hmm. and uh, you know it has uh, a lot of. Uh, 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 concrete you know, information. Co very right? concrete. Now we have a very clear path yes, on exactly and, how we're going to do that yes, by 2030. Yes, and also have, uh, some some uh, suggestions, for example, at the uh, subnational level, mm -hmm. uh, because you know some less national level cooperation mm -hmm. between China and the United States basically focus on trade and investment. Now mm -hmm. we have this uh, uh, climate agenda. Right. So it is more concrete and uh, more. Uh, I it think. seems more real now, right? So this yes. is the plan, an action plan. So right. bullet points one, two, three, now we can get to right. work. Uh, Tangan, let me ask you this, Mr. Tangan. So cap and trade is not exactly new for China either. China started some pilot programs back in 2012. They decided to experiment with the program before they rolled this out nationwide. But this is not easy task for China, whose economic growth basically uh, hinges on uh, burning cheap fuel. But in recent years, policymakers actually have seen the economic benefits of using less uh, fossil fuel. So can you comment on the economic benefits of being green? Oh, <laughs> well, it actually starts new industries. Specifically because, for China. Yeah, specifically mm -hmm. for China. I mean, it, it, China is moving up the ladder. I mean, it's, it's moving from primary tertiary to mm -hmm. tertiary uh, markets. And as part of that, they need to have an environment. Things, you know, when we're looking at Beijing, Shanghai, the major cities, pollution is a concern. You cannot continue to burn cheap fossil fuels and expect to live in the same place. So China is going through this metamorphosis. I mean, you saw this early on in Xi Jinping, you know, put, once again, I I refer to uh, mm -hmm. the governance of China, his latest his book. He, he talks about this balance mm. that is necessary for China to achieve its goals. And it's not all economic. There has to be something that talks about the social end. So right. the benefits here are tremendous. China will get involved in the whole market of how do you create a greener, better environment, whether it's smart cities, whatever it is, mm -hmm. whatever it takes, China is there on, uh, it plans to be in the forefront. I mean, China, remember, in order to take its next step, its next step isn't into a void. Mm -hmm. Its next step is to be a competitor with the major uh, powers, and that mm -hmm. means with uh, Japan, South Korea, the United States, yeah. and Europe. Now, interestingly, we will, uh, China will not be following the U.S. example on right. the cap and tr uh, trade. It will mm -hmm. be following probably the European example. Mm -hmm. And there are still difficulties along the way because, uh, as they found out in their pilot program, there has to be a great deal of transparency mm -hmm. in order for these kinds of mechanisms to work. Because if you're selling something, you have to make sure that, in fact, they're reducing exactly. the amount that they say they're going to do. Otherwise, yeah. it can turn into a, a game. So this is no easy task no. for anybody involved. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Lee, so this project you talked about Paris. This is setting stage uh, for the conference in Paris. What can we expect from that meeting? Uh, as a matter of fact, you know there are four pillars actually mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the combat, the effort to combat glo uh, global uh, climate change. Uh, one is the uh, you know the peak emission uh, target mm -hmm. uh, that are supposed to be uh, put together by all the con uh, countries, and the second one is uh, a, a kind of a continuous improving. Uh, Effort, which mm -hmm. means that uh, every five years there will be a review of the targets and see, you know, what's need to be done, what's need to be improved, and then the uh, fourth one is to lock up the vision that uh, you know everyone, everyone, uh, every country shares the same vision, mm -hmm. and the short-term uh, actions should be based on the long-term vision. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I think is the uh, uh, you know the uh, the monitoring of the change is to make sure. Uh, for example, what kind of a, uh, 
uh, help that right. will be needed, uh, what corrections need to be to be done, and so on. So the in Paris, I think you know uh, the uh, you know the the uh, the, the participant countries will uh, you know will discuss around those pillars and achieve at least I think you know the 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 the, uh, the, we'll the primary the target of. Uh, of the two uh, degree centigrade uh, target. I think that will be the center. I, I think the takeaway is going to be a change, a sea change in leadership. I mean, China mm -hmm. is taking a seat at the table. It's no longer a reluctant participant who's right. holding back. Mm -hmm. He says, we're going to cut 65 percent. We're expecting U.S. to cut 35 percent. Mm -hmm. All right, these, these are big actions, and it shows a completely different side, as you were alluding to earlier in yeah. your show, where China has taken on a different role. It's assuming the mantle of responsibility. And this is going to be a very, very bi uh, big sign so to the rest of the world. So we're changing from a very passive attitude to something very active. And more also, active. yes, in, in the gender uh, announcement, mm -hmm. which is now not, not, not 100,000, mm -hmm. it's about 3,000 words, you mm -hmm. can see a lot of numbers. Mm -hmm. You know, this is also different from numbers the previous one. Numbers don't lie, right? You have <laughs> to hit those but, targets. But, you know, those numbers means commitment. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. the, uh, the amount of money yeah. you're going to put, the, 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 the kind of a target you have that a laser-focused target inside. Right. Uh, Mr. Tang, <laughs> last question for you. What do you say to those critics who say, Cap and trade is basically commoditizing pollution, and you're giving corporations an opportunity to actually benefit and, and monetize, capitalize on polluting industries. What do you say to them? Well, this is a long-standing argument that's going mm -hmm. on for quite some time, but they, they, they found that this is the best carrot to get companies to actually reduce. So the question is, do you want it to be effective or do you want it to be pure? I mean, it would be nice if all of these companies just said to Esponte, oh, we'll just all cut back. But it's going to happen. The competitive pressures out there with companies constantly competing requires that they are making instantaneous decisions on a quarter-by-quarter -quarter basis about profitability. That means that they have to look. So when you start putting these into the factors, mm -hmm. that's how you get results. At least that's the theory. So, so we'll you've got to be practical. You we'll have see. to be practical. And I mean, this is part of China's embrace of uh, the market system mm. to help change uh, uh, micro behaviors. Mm. And this is very, very important, and it shows a really different kind of China.